Hey everybody, Lucas Hanneman here. Welcome to this week's episode of Guitar Tone Tuesday. Well, it's dirty, it's disgusting, and it's grimy. And I've got it here to show you guys today. This is a guitar that I am dubbing the Filthy Squire. This guitar belongs to someone I know whose name, coincidentally, is also Lucas. And Lucas brought this guitar to my house about three days ago. He came over and he told me that he wants to start taking guitar lessons. So he wanted to leave this guitar with me so I could clean it up. Now, Lucas's parents bought this guitar for him about 10 years ago in a multi-pack. So he got this Chinese-made Squire Bullet Strat along with an amplifier and no guitar case. So when he brought this guitar over, he handed it to me through the door and said, here's my guitar, clean it up. And it had no case. So as a result, this guitar has grime, dirt, dust, caked all over it. He's had this thing for 10 years. He's never even really touched it. And it feels like a, a well-worn guitar, except for the fact that it's got the plastic still here on the pick guard and the plastic here on the back plate. So I'm going to start by removing the plastic stuff because I don't really like that. Um, I'm going to give the tune up. So Ugh, doesn't sound very good right now. So I've got some tools here, which I'm going to use to fix this guitar up. First and foremost, I'm going to take the grime off with this rag. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a second layer. I'm going to take this Hans lemon oil here and I'm going to clean the guitar up with this as well. And I'm going to wipe it down again with the rag. Now I don't, I don't usually use uh, lemon oil like that, but I think that it's going to help to clean the guitar up in this desperate situation here. Uh, I also am going to do the action and the intonation with some Allen keys here. So I've got the appropriate Allen key for the headstock to check the straightness of the neck. And I've got the appropriate Allen key here for the bridge and I also have a screwdriver so I can do the action and the intonation myself by ear and then well almost last but not least I am going to use this I've never heard anyone else do this before but I find when I get the strings off on a filthy guitar like this I like to take the nail file and I just go very gently next to every single fret just to get that finger gunk and that dust and that grime away from every fret. I go on either side of the fret and I find it's kind of a nice way of polishing the frets up without taking any material off, you know. It's very gentle when I do this and I find it works really, really well. And then finally, last but not least, I'm going to put these on the guitar. These are Daddario NYXLs. So, I love these strings. I think they are fantastic. Um, these are the 11 to 49 gauge. It's just what I have around. So Lucas, you're going to have to live with this, uh, but uh, it'll make your hands strong. So it's all good. And by the virtues of modern technology, I'm going to do all this work and then I am going to return and show you guys the finished product. I got to say, before I do the work on this guitar, I think these guitars are absolutely amazing. A good friend of mine, um, a person who I'm very fortunate to call a good friend and a great guitar player who I've had the chance to do a little playing with, Jack Pearson from Nashville, is famous all over YouTube and the internet for making these Squire strats sound amazing. He's the best guitar player you've never ever heard of in your life, or maybe you have because he, he did play in the Allman Brothers for a while, but Jack makes these guitars sound like a million bucks. So if it's good enough for Jack, it's good enough for anybody. So I will return and I will play this guitar for you in its finished state right now. <laughs> back we are back it is literally a week after i shot the first part of this video and this guitar has survived to, to tell its story man this thing is clean 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 it has been completely defilthed it's actually so clean that you could eat off of it although i don't recommend using your guitar as a table but look at this thing man it's shiny it's shiny it's shiny all the way around 
I took the plastic off the pick guard here. I took the plastic off the back part here. Uh, interesting journey when I went to take the original strings off. They were stuck in there. Uh, I don't know exactly how, but they were stuck inside the guitar. And with my wife's help, we used a tiny little screwdriver and literally dug them out of the back of the guitar. <laughs> so that was cool. Uh, also, I learned how to level frets. Uh, so we were looking at this guitar and we realized that the neck was bananaing into itself. So that we call that a, a bow. It was bowing forwards. So right around the ninth fret, the, the action was horrendously high. So we had to straighten it out. It actually took quite a while to, to, to figure all that out. We had to straighten it out. And then um, I realized that the 10th fret was extremely high and so was the fourth fret. So I learned how to level frets because of this video. It was really interesting. And I gotta say for a first time, I think I, I, think I did a pretty darn good job. Um, I taped off uh, on either side of the fourth fret and either side of the 10th fret of this guitar and uh, leveled away. And my dad actually gave me a helping hand, so thank you so much, Dad, uh, as well. We kind of figured this out together, my wife, my dad, and myself. But this guitar, honestly, it's so great now that I would be happy to take it home if I played it at the music store. I would gig with it. It's lightweight. It stays in tune now. With all the plastic and all the stickers off, it looks pretty great as well. So rather than just doing a boring talk through of all the pickup positions, I've created a backing track with this guitar and a bass. And I just figure I'm just going to play for you guys, clean, distorted, all that good stuff, so you guys can hear how it sounds. Let's go ahead and do that right now.
that's it. I'd say it speaks for itself. This guitar does not feel like it was bought in a Costco pack. It does not sound like it. It does not speak like it. So I am very, very, very happy with the way that this thing turned out. And I hope you guys liked it. If you're still watching, if you're new to the channel, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell down there because I know you want to. And if you are already a viewer to this channel, please like and don't forget to share this video if you enjoyed it. And in the comment section below to everybody, everybody, please let me know, did you like this style of video? Did you like me cleaning up this thing and uh, telling you guys what I did to it? Because I could do it again uh, when I work on another person's guitar. Also, let me know, what is your favorite of the Squire range? That's about it for this week. We will see everybody again next Tuesday.